Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Giovanni, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Jaime, Samuel, Francisco, Damaris, and Maria Dolores. It's nice to see you tonight. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello, good night, how are teacher. you? Hello, how are you tonight? I fight it. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Teacher, I am sorry, I drive me. Okay, hi. Hello, Jaime. teacher. Good evening. I understand. Just be careful. Hello, Namaris. Good evening. Okay, thank you. How was your day today, guys? How was your day? How was your day? All right, teacher. <clears throat> It was tired. Hi, teacher. Tired. Ah, okay, very good. So, how do you feel tonight? Great day, teacher. It was a great day. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you for your answer. Uh, how do you feel tonight? Excellent, teacher. Okay, that's great. It's excellent. Very good answer. Thank you. You feel excellent tonight. Okay, tonight we're going to start the class. Uh, um, let's see, reviewing the exercises that you solved on the platform. But before to go to that, uh, can you please let me know if you have already started the exercises? Me comentan, por favor, si ya comenzaron a resolver los ejercicios de la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Ok. Solo recordarles, ¿verdad? Que tienen hasta mañana a la medianoche para completar la sección 1, sección 1, en sección, en sección 2. Ya estuve revisando, ¿verdad? Algunos de ustedes llevan el 33%, otros van por el 60% y algunos ya hicieron tres secciones. Congratulations for the ones who has already solved three sections of the platform. Los demás los invito, ¿verdad? A que resolvamos esos ejercicios para que no se nos acumule el trabajo, ¿no? Para que vayamos saliendo semana a semana con, la, con las secciones que nos tocan, ¿de acuerdo? El día de mañana es de, no vamos a tener sesión virtual, ¿verdad? Son de lunes a jueves. Entonces mañana puede aprovechar, ¿verdad? Esa hora para completar los ejercicios en la plataforma. Si tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta, algún ejercicio que no pueda resolver en el grupo de WhatsApp. Puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp y si en ese momento yo no le puedo ayudar, algún compañero está conectado y sí le puede ayudar, no hay ningún problema. Recuerde que durante este módulo somos un equipo, ¿verdad? Y todos tenemos que llevar esa plataforma al 100% antes del último día de clases, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Yes. How do you say somos un equipo? Todos oh. somos un equipo. If we are working together, oh, we are a team. We are a team. Somos un equipo. We are, we are a team. Oh. Puede escribir. Eh, o sea, quiero anotarlo. <laughs> ok, excellent. Eh, en el chat. So we are a team. We are a team. Nosotros somos un equipo. So let's start with reviewing. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Okay. We are going to review this section. Section number one. In this section, we learn how to answer this question. What are we going to do? What is the meaning of this question? The name of the section. What are you going to do? What's the meaning of this question? What are you going to do? Do you remember? ¿Qué significa esa oración, esa pregunta? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Ok. ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Cuáles son tus planes en el futuro? ¿Qué vas a hacer? That's great. So now let's go with the first exercise. Uh, the exercise 1.4. 
is this one. In this exercise, you have to listen. En este ejercicio, usted tiene que escuchar. You have to listen. We are going to listen this. So we have Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. And this person is asking some question to them. So we are going to choose the place. Vamos a escoger, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el plan de cada una de estas personas? So let's listen. Just a second. Good evening. I'm... Pueden escuchar sin ningún problema. Me confirman, por favor. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you... Okay. Uh, Michelle. Michelle is going to the gym to celebrate a birthday, to meet a friend, to go shopping. To meet, meet a friend. friend. Meet, meet, a friend. The, uh, meet a friend in the park. Okay, meet a friend in the park. And what are they going to do in the park? ¿Qué van a hacer en el parque? They are going to run. Van a correr. Van a correr en el parque. Let's go with Kevin. Let's listen about You're Kevin. going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Okay, what is Kevin to do? What is he going to do? Kevin is going to play the video games. Play video games. Play video games. Play video games. Okay. ¿Alguna vez fueron a un video game arcade? ¿Fueron a jugar maquinitas alguna vez? Video yes, I do. Yes, okay. Gastamos mucho tiempo. No, colones. teacher. I am no, not. No. No, teacher. Nunca he jugado. Never. You have Nunca never jugado, played never. video games no. in an arcade, okay? And let's go with Robert. Let's listen, Robert. Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. Okay, what is Robert going to do? Robert is work going at... to... Robert going is... to work at home. Robert is going to work at home. Unfortunately, he's, he's going, going to work. He's going to work at home. He's going to work at home. And the last one... <clears throat> Let's see, Jane. Perdió la fiesta. Yes, right. A friend of his... Uh, a friend of him, sorry, uh, is going to have a party, right? And he won't go to the party. Él no va a ir a la fiesta. He has a lot of work to do. Tiene mucho trabajo por hacer. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. What is Jane going to do? Jane. Listen, listen to music. Listen to music. Yeah. Going to listen to Okay. Jazz. Yes. She loves jazz. She said, I just bought some new CDs. Acabo de comprar algunos CDs nuevos. I'm going to listen to music. Jazz. Yes. Okay. I'm going to click here in send. A ver cuánto nos sacamos. Da, da, da. Let's see. Okay, 33 points of 33 points. Ese fue el primer ejercicio. Was it easy or difficult? It's easy. Easy, easy. Easy? It's easy. Easy. Interesting or boring? Interesting. 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 It is yes, interesting. Yes, it was interesting. Very Let's interesting. 1.11. 
in this part, we are going to complete the following conversation with the correct form of the be going to. Follow the example, and we have here the example. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? ¿Cómo vas a pasar tus vacaciones de verano? Eh, my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Mis padres y yo visitaremos a mis abuelos. Parents, padres, grandparents, abuelos. Let's go with the conversation number one. Who are you to Thanksgiving dinner? Who are you going to, going to, to Thanksgiving dinner? Going to Who are it. you? Okay. Then I need this. Going to invite. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? ¿A quién vas a invitar para la cena de Acción de Gracias? I am going to ask my okay. family. I am going to good ask friends. my family and some good friends. Bueno, solo algunos buenos amigos, good friends. No todos. Conversation number two. What are this is the question, what are what, what are, are you people? going to do? Okay, going to do. What are you going to do for Halloween? I don't know. And then we have this answer. I'm not going to do anything special. Conversation number three. How are your parents? How are your parents celebrate New Year's Eve? Going to celebrate. Okay, celebrate. going to celebrate. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? And, and the answer, they're... They're going to go. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. Van a ir a la fiesta del vecindario, de la fiesta de la colonia. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. A la fiesta de su vecindario. In the last conversation, conversation number four, what is your sister going, going to, to do? Going to do. Going to do for her birthday. Okay, what is your sister going to do for her birthday? Her boyfriend. Going to take. Her boyfriend is going, is going to take her out to dinner. Su novio la llevará a cenar. Right? Muy bien, that's great. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay, voy a dar clic en enviar. Teacher, pero este, en la, is... en la, en New Year's Eve, ¿cuál era, teacher? La, pero otra vez. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve yes. es vísperas de año nuevo. New Year's no, Eve. La, okay. How are your parents? How are your parents? How are your parents? Oh, ¿cómo van a yes. celebrar tus padres las vísperas de Año Nuevo? Uh -huh. That is the question. Okay, let's see. ¿Cómo era? Uh -huh. Ta -ta okay. 33 points of 33 points. ¿Así les quedaron? Do you have any doubt? Teacher, a mí me salió buena going to take sin el is. Sin el is. será? Esto es. Ajá, está buena. Me salió buena y no le puse is. Bueno, algunas eh, tienen varias respuestas correctas, pero no solo una. En este caso yo le puse is porque la estructura así lo pide, ¿verdad? Es sujeto, her boyfriend, el verbo to be, is. Luego la expresión going to, el verbo que es take y el complemento her out to dinner. Okay. Okay. Entonces, si le aceptaba going to take, perfect to. Pero la manera correcta sería esta, ¿verdad? Porque necesitamos el verbo to be en esta estructura. ¿De acuerdo? Any other question? No question. Okay. I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants? Para practicar en la conversación 1 y 2. 1 and 2. Who wants to participate tonight? José Alberto, thank you. Anyone? José Alberto, and... 
Thank you, Francisco. Jose Alberto and Francisco. Conversation one and two. Can you please start, Jose? Pero es que creo que no logra. Bueno, todavía estaba. Okay. Are you going to um going to ask my family and some good friends? You do. No. no, no sé si soy solo yo, pero no, no se escucha muy bien. Y... Hello. ¿Es el micrófono de José Alberto o a mí tampoco me escuchan bien? Hello. No, no usted sí le escucho, teacher. Ah, ok. De él, José Alberto debe de tener problemas de conexión de internet. Y creo que se desconectó o no. José Alberto... No, ahí está, pero no le funciona el micrófono. José Alberto tiene que activar su micrófono, please. Bueno, mientras José Alberto intenta resolver el problema con el micrófono, escuchemos a Hugo Giovanni, Francisco y Hugo. Francisco, can you please read the question and Hugo, the answers, please. Conversation one and two. Ok. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Going to invite. I'm going to ask. Gonna do. Gonna uh, you. Going to. Uh, I'm not going to do. Oh, okay, thank you. This is the answer. Take a look. This is the answer. Say, I'm, yes. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Uh, pardon, teacher. Pardon, no leí esa parte. Sorry, teacher. Uh, sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Let's start again. Let's start again. Comencemos de nuevo. Okay. Who are you okay. going to invite a Thanksgiving dinner? I'm going to ask... Uh, as family and some good friends. Friends, excellent. Conversation number two. What are you going to do for Halloween? Uh, no, I don't. No, I um, do anything special. Thank you so much. You say, I don't know. I don't know. Ok, I esta, don't know. esta expresión les va a ayudar mucho. El I don't know. It means yo no sé. I don't know. 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 Y say, I'm not it's going similar, to do anything. It's similar. I don't know. It's similar to beat me. Uh, beat I me. I don't know. Yeah, a bit get me. I sí. don't know significa yo no sé, yo no sé eso. Correcto. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it could be similar. Okay. Eh, any two want to practice in conversation number three and conversation number four? Who wants to participate? Okay, I have Samuel and Maria Dolores. Thank you so much. Can you please start, Maria? Yes, teacher. Con, empiezo con la, la A, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year Eve? They are going, yeah. Yes. Um, they are going to go the the news board party. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the number four. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Her boyfriend go, is going to take her out. Do dinner. Okay, thank you so much. 
excellent job. Thank you very much. Let's go with the last exercise in this section. Vamos a ir al último ejercicio en esta sección. Uh, Hugo, do you have a question? I can see your hand up. Uh, no, I don't, no, no, teacher. Okay, no, I don't. I don't have a question. I don't have a question. No tengo una pregunta. I don't have a question. Let's go with the last exercise in this part then. It's a reading, it's a reading part. So let's look at this. A written article, the answer where the sentence presented in its article is true or false. Let's see, lee el artículo, después responde si la oración eh, presentada en cada artículo es verdadera o falsa. So let's start with this one. Elena Buenaventura from Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. So in Madrid, what is the tradition for the birthday boy or the birthday girl? Pull ear. Oh, do you have any question in this part? New vocabulary? Sure. Okay, the answer you say, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. You say the answer is true. It's okay. True. Yes. New vocabulary, new words in this small paragraph. Vocabulary um, nuevo. No. Desconozco. Teacher. En la parte going to pull. Pull okay. en el caso. They're going to pull. Pull es el verbo alar, ¿verdad? Jalar. ¿Le van a jalar la oreja cuántas veces? La vez, los, los años que tengo. Ok. The tradition is that they are going to pull your ears according to the number of years, right? De acuerdo al número de años, así le van a jalar la oreja. Ok. Imagínese que cumple 100 años. Se queda sin morir. <risa> so, ahí se ve el tiempo y solo en jalar las orejas. Sí, ahí se va la fiesta, ¿verdad? En los 100 jalones. Very good. So, pull es jalar. Eh, any other question in this part? No questions. Let's go with the second one then. No question. No question. Ya. Yang Chin Shi, Yang Chin Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Any new vocabulary in this paragraph? How old is she? How old is she going to be tomorrow? ¿Cuántos años uh, va a cumplir uh, mañana? Sixteen. Yeah, I have a question. Tell me what is your question in this part? She's 16 years old. Okay, she's going to be 16 years old tomorrow. Uh, uh, have a question, teacher. Have what a is question. your question? Tell me, what is your question? <clears throat> this uh, is uh, my, uh, I, you know, this I'm gonna, I'm gonna have family cele 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 celebremo cele cele celebremo ceremony. No sé, creo, la es el, ceremony. Ah, ceremony. 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 Eh, ¿Qué significa en, en español? Ceremonia. I'm going to have a family ceremony. Una ceremonia. 
como una ceremonia de graduación, una ceremonia de matrimonio, ceremonia. I'm probably going to get some money in look in lucky envelopes. Probablemente voy a obtener dinero, ¿verdad? En sobres de buena suerte de mi familia, from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Y noodles, pasta, macarrones. Y videos. Are for a long life. Yes, videos. Se me había olvidado esa palabra. Videos are noodles. Thank you so much. So, no cake, no sandwiches, no hot dogs, no hamburgers, noodles. They eat noodles. It's other tradition. It's another tradition, right? It means for a long life. Para tener una larga vida. Para desearle una larga vida al cumpleañero, ¿verdad? Bueno, el próximo cumpleaños, tres coras de fideos y ya está hecha la fiesta. Good. <laughs> Jan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. False. 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 She's not going to cook, Because... right? Her mother is going Her to mother cook. Going to yes, cook. thank you for your answer. Let's go with Mr. and Miss Aoki, Kyoto. Where is Kyoto? Is it in Japan or in China? Kyoto. Japan. Yep. Oh, it's in Japan. It's in Japan. So Japan. My, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kamreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often get something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. So what is the tradition there? When people get 60. Cuando las personas llegan a los 60 años, ¿verdad? Es un cumpleaños especial. Se llama Kanreki. Es el comienzo de una nueva vida. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. What is red? What is that color? Rojo. 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 Es regalar algo, algo, algo. algo de rojo. Algo rojo. En esta ocasión... La pregunta, what are our children going to give him? ¿Qué le van a dar nuestros hijos? A red hat and a red vest. What is that? ¿Qué obsequios le van a dar? A hat and a vest. Un sombrero. Un sombrero. Un sombrero y un... Un sombrero y un... Chaleco, un chaleco. Un sombrero y un chaleco rojo. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the last one. Philip Jolly. Philip, Philip Jolly from Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner in France. When you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. So, take a look at this tradition. It's very different from El Salvador. In Paris, France, the birthday person invites the other people. El cumpleañero es quien paga, ¿verdad? Y acá invitan. lo invitan por ser su cumpleaños. Ok, Philip friends, I'm going to take him out to dinner on his birthday, true or false? It's false. It's false, right? Philip va a pagar la cuenta. Así no da gusto cumplir años. Let's see. Yes, you Ni were right. Menciona. <laughs> Mejor no hacer la bulla. So, pasa por alto. Ok. So, 34 of 34 points. So, those were the exercises on section number one. Do you have any question? Esos eran los ejercicios en la sección número uno. Do you have any question? Yes. 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 Y
No questions. No, no question, teacher. No questions. Ok, si ustedes uh -huh. ya terminaron I, esta sección. I have, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Mm. Um, ¿Qué es este beginning? Yo escucho, creo. Beginning, inicio, sí. inicio, comienzo. Beginning. El inicio o comienzo. That is the meaning of that word. Beginning. Ok, ahora, si ustedes ya finalizaron esta sección, les va a aparecer, si dan clic en progreso, van a ver esta gráfica, ¿verdad? Homework 1, finish. Así tiene que aparecer en Homework 2, la sección número 2, ¿ok? So, if you don't have any other question, let's go with tonight's topic. Tonight, we're going to start the section number 2. And the name of the section number two is, what's the matter? This is the name of section number two, what's the matter? So let's start with this. Let's go with tonight class. ¿Qué sucede, Eva? Yes, ¿qué sucede? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? That is the topic for tonight. What's the matter? Let's start with this. Welcome to the class number four. And this is the lesson objectives for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. And also by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. También vamos a aprender eh, vocabulario acerca de algunas enfermedades comunes. But let's start with body parts. ¿Se acuerdan de alguna parte del cuerpo in English? Do you remember any body part names in English? Yes, hands. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, hands. Neck, nose. Uh, hands. Feet. Nose. Mouth. Nose. Nose. Um, eyes. 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 Lips. Hair. Lips. Hair. Hair. Finger, no, finger, no, eyebrows, no, stomach ache. <laughs> stomach ache. Ah, eso es una enfermedad. Stomach ache. Stomach. Stomach. Stomach, stomach ache. Es una Ears. enfermedad. Ya es dolor de estómago. Nos da muy seguido. Legs. Stomach. It's very common. Stomach, yes, stomach. Neck. Neck, okay, neck. Neck, feet. Okay, neck. so let's, let's see some of them. Body parts. I have here some of them. We have head, eye, ear, nose. What is the head? Cabeza. Cabeza. Eye, Cabeza. eye. Ojo. Ojos. Ojos. Ear. Oreja. Nose. Oreja. Nose. Nariz. Nariz. Okay. Then I have in the other chart, back, shoulder, chest, and stomach. Back, shoulder, back, chest, espalda. Espalda. espalda, hombro, muy bien. Chest. Pecho. 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 Stomach. Estomago. Estomago. Okay, then let's go with the hand. We have thumb, hand, and finger. Thumb, hand, and finger. Thumb is el pulgar. Hand, yes. nuestra mano, and mano. finger. Finger. Dedo. 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 Okay. Let's go with the other chart. We have leg, knee, and ankle. Leg. Leg son piernas. Leg, piernas. 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 Ni rodilla. Rodillas. En ankle. Ankle. Tobillo. 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 Let's go with the other side of the slide. Mouth. Tu boca. Chin. We had mouth. Tu fifth chin. Boca. Diente, dientes. Y barbilla. Okay, excellent, very good. Tooth, 
es el singular, diente. Tiff es el plural, dientes. Thank you. Chin es el mentón o la barbilla. Then I have grease, arm and elbow. Grease, arm and elbow. What is grease? Muñeca. Muñeca, excellent. In arm. Brazo. Brazo. Elbow. Codo. 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 Then I have throw and neck. Throw and neck. Throw, garganta, neck, cuello. Neck, cuello. Okay. Garganta y cuello. Finally, I have foot, feet, toe, toes. Foot is a yes. 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 Toes. Dedos. Y toes. Dedos. 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 Okay, excellent. I can see that you don't have any problem with this body part. You have to practice them. Let's continue. When we are talking about our body parts, we say, this is my head. For example, this is my head. These are my eyes. These are my eyes. Say, this is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. And this is my neck. Ok. Elbow me ayuda a qué significado tiene. Elbows, codos. These are my elbows. Estos son mis codos. Any question in this part? Si es solo una parte del cuerpo, digo this is. Si es en plural, ¿verdad? Como shoulders, que tenemos dos, we are going to say these are. These are my shoulders. This, this is my nose. Teacher. Yes. ¿Verdad que la pronunciación de, de this es como una sonrisa? Algo this. Así. This. 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 Okay. We say this and we have this. El primero es más rápido. We say this. La pronunciación this. del otro es un poquito más larga. Es como una sonrisa. Así como dice U. Uh, this. These are, these, these are my shoulders. These is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. Who wants to try reading the sentences? ¿Quién quiere intentarlo? ¿Quién quiere? Any volunteer? Any volunteer tonight? Okay, I have two volunteers. I have three volunteers. So let's divide the sentences. Three. Uh, Francisco, can you help me with the first three? Then Jose Alberto with another three and Andrea with another three sentences. Let's start with Francisco, please. Okay, teacher. This is my hair. These are my eyes. This is my, this is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. Andrea, please. Andrea. This is my mouth. Uh, these are my elbows. And this is my neck. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help in this slide. Let's go to the next. I have an exercise here for you. Just a second. Can you please complete these sentences with the right body parts? Let's practice. I smell with my nose. I I no, smell nose. with my nose. No mouth. I touch with my fingers. I, fingers. I touch with my hand, hand, hands. Hands. Hand. I taste with my mouth. Mouth. Tongue. Okay, with my tongue. I taste with my tongue. I have five in my hand. Fingers. 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 
Excellent. Thank you. I chew with my I mouth. Mouth. Teeth. Teeth. What is chew? Chew. 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 It's chew. Masticar. Masticar. Chew. I chew with my teeth. I hear with my ears. 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 I had five in my food. Feet. Toes. Toes. I see with my eyes. I see with eyes. my eyes. Okay. Eyes. Thank you. So we have I smell with my nose. I touch with my hands. Or I touch with my fingers. I taste with my tongue. I have five fingers in my hand. I chew with my teeth. I hear with my ears. I have five toes in my foot. I see with my eyes. Bless you. Teacher, repeat uh, the pronunciation, the masticar, please. Chew. I chew. 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 Yes, I chew with my teeth. Okay, let's go with the next. So common illnesses, enfermedades comunes. Common illnesses vocabulary. And let's see, I have a cold, the flu, a headache, a toothache, a fever, a cough, a rash, and a broken arm. ¿De cuál de estos ha padecido? A cold, un resfriado. Yes. Yes, the yes. flu, the flu. Yes. 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 yes, a headache, a headache, un dolor de cabeza, uh, todos yes. los días, teacher. Es frecuente. <laughs> a headache, a toothache, toothache, un dolor, dolor de, de muelas, de dientes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ni quiero pasarlo. <laughs> Ni quiere pasarlo. Este es de los peores. ¿verdad? A toothache. Eh, what about a fever? A fever. La fiebre. Fiebre. A, fiebre o calentura. Fiebre. No, no. It's the same. I guess it's the same. A cold. Tos. 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 A rush. Es como alergia. Salpullido. Una alergia. Bien salpullido. Alergia. A rush. A broken arm. A dolor de, de brazos. Eso a lo... rush is common with the chikungunya. <laughs> ah, ok. Cuando le dio chikungunya, the, a rush a venía de... incluida. The <laughs> rush venía incluida en ese paquete. Eh, a fever, rush, headache, backache. Todo eso venía incluido ahí, ¿verdad? So, a broken arm es romperse una mano, ¿verdad? quebrarse una mano. ¿Alguien ya tuvo la experiencia? ¿Se cayeron de la bicicleta? No, teacher, I don't. No. no. Ok. A stomach no, ache. A stomach ache. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de oído. Dolor de oído. Dolor de oído. Dolor de oído. Back ache. Dolor de espalda. Espalda. Sí. A diarrhea. Sí. <laughs> A yeah, vomit, a vomit. Then I have a sore throat. Dolor de garganta. Dolor, ardor en la garganta. A sore throat. Infección, decimos nosotros. A sore throat. A sore shoulder. A sore shoulder. Cuando esté estresado, me siente que anda ahí. Dolor en los hombros. A sore shoulder. And finally, we have a broken leg. No, perse la pierna como en el teatro. Así es, a broken leg. Es romperse una pierna, a broken leg, una pierna rota. Bueno, entonces son enfermedades comunes. A cold, the flu, a headache, a toothache, a fever, a cough, a rash, a broken arm, a stomach ache an ear ache, a backache, a diarrhea, a 
a vomit, a sore throat, a sore shoulder, and a broken leg. So we are going to learn how to talk about these illnesses. To talk about these illnesses, we need to use the following words. I feel homesick. Just a second. Acá vamos a encontrar algunos ejemplos en esta pequeña conversación. I feel homesick. That is the title of this conversation. So let's listen to the conversation, please. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a back. I'm sorry. Backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. What is the conversation about? Any idea? So it says, Brian, it's a conversation between Brian and Kenichi. And Brian says, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have a lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks. Brian, I feel better already. Teacher, how, eh, ¿a qué se refiere con homesick? Homesick. Okay. Nostálgico. Nostálgico, ¿verdad? Es el sentimiento que usted siente cuando está lejos de su casa, de su familia. Nostalgia. Homesick. So he... Dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda andaba por peso. <laughs> sí que extrañaba bastante Japón, ¿verdad? So, look at this question. What's the matter? What's the matter? Que es lo mismo que nosotros hacemos en español. Cuando usted pregunta, por ejemplo, eh, Francisco, ¿cómo estás? And then Francisco dice, mm, no estoy bien, ¿verdad? No me siento bien. Entonces usted inmediatamente pregunta, eh, ¿qué te pasa? ¿Qué te sucede? So, in English, we use the expression, what's the matter? Y luego empieza a explicar. Well, I have a headache and a backache. Bueno, tengo dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda. Maybe you have the flu. Puede ser, ¿verdad? Que tienes gripe. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Pay attention to this word. Feel, sentir, ¿verdad? No, yo creo, ¿verdad? Yo siento eh, un poquito de nostalgia por Japón. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Eso está muy mal. Pero puedo ayudarte. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Almorcemos en ese restaurante japonés nuevo. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. ¿Le ayudó ir a comer a un restaurante japonés? Sí, sí después yes. dice que ya se sentía mejor. Ah, ok. I feel better already. Le hacía falta el sushi. Sake. El sake también, ok. Have you ever tried that drink? ¿Alguna vez han probado esa bebida? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Ok. Ok. Neither do I. Tampoco yo. Don't worry. So, do you have any question, new vocabulary in this conversation? No, teacher, thank you. No, no, no new words? Okay. Um, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, and they que uh, I don't think jumps of fear leaders. Uh, leaders, menos, más o menos, o... Un poco. Un poco. A little, un poco. A little, uh, un poco. 
Me siento un poco nostálgico. I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Better, better. I feel better already. Es como ya me siento mejor. Me siento mejor ahora. O ya me siento mejor. Maybe es tal vez, ¿verdad? Tal vez o podría ser. Maybe. Okay. No more questions. Let's go with the next explanation then. I have two questions. How are you and how do you feel? Ayer vimos esta pregunta, ¿verdad? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? Y how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Now let's learn how to answer this question. Cuando alguien les pregunta, how are you? Then you answer, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm terrific. I'm fantastic. Puede utilizar una de estas cuatro opciones. Y hay muchas más. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm, well. I'm great. Good. I'm terrific. I'm fantastic. Good. You say very well. So, so. Yeah. I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm excellent. Pero qué bien que siempre anduviéramos así, ¿verdad? Excelente, fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Pero cuando se siente mal, podemos utilizar estos otros adjetivos. I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible, I'm miserable. Okay. So you say, I'm sick, estoy enfermo, I'm awful. Awful is very bad, muy mal. Cuando usted se siente muy mal, entonces, I'm awful. I'm terrible, me siento terrible. I'm miserable. Me siento miserable, ¿no? se siente muy mal. Then, how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? En esta ocasión vamos a utilizar el verbo feel para responder. I feel great. I feel fantastic. So, I feel. How do you feel? You say, I feel great. I feel fantastic. Si se siente mal, dice, I don't feel well. No me siento bien. I don't feel well. I feel sick. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. You can use this adjective with feel too. Depende. Si le preguntan, how are you? Usted responde con el verbo to be. You say, I. Eh, si el how do you feel? Usted responde con el verbo feel. I feel great. I feel fantastic. Now, ¿qué sucede cuando alguien le dice, I don't feel well? No me siento bien. ¿Cuál es la siguiente pregunta que usted le hace? What's the matter? Ok, what's the matter? Then, what do you have? Ok, we use these two expressions. What's the matter? O what's wrong? What's the matter? What's wrong? Esas dos opciones podemos utilizar. ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te sucede? So what's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Cuál es What el problema? Happened, teacher? Eh, in this case, we can use this. What's the matter? What's wrong? Okay. Then, la otra persona, para responder estas dos preguntas, necesitamos utilizar el verbo have, más lo que nos sucede. Look at this example. Well, I have a headache and a backache. Bueno, tengo un dolor de cabeza y un dolor de espalda. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. Tengo un resfriado. Tengo gripe. Tengo un dolor de estómago. Entonces, esta es la estructura que necesitamos. Subject. Necesitamos un sujeto. El verbo have. Y un nombre. Subject plus have plus noun. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. O podemos responder con el verbo feel. I feel dizzy. I feel homesick. I don't feel good. I feel sick. Entonces para responder con feel vamos a necesitar subject, feel, en an adjective y un adjetivo. Un sujeto, el verbo feel y un adjetivo. I feel dizzy. 
I es el sujeto, el verbo feel, y dice ese adjetivo mareado. Me siento mareado. I feel dizzy. I feel homesick. I is the subject, feel is the verb, and homesick is the adjective. Do you have any question in this part? No questions? No question. No question. Okay. Let's practice then. Look at this example. First conversation is a hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. So, esta persona está mal, ¿verdad? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. The second conversation, hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. And I feel dizzy. Dizzy, okay. que, teacher? Mareado. Mareado. Okay, to volunteer to practice in this to a small conversation. Who wants to try? Who wants to help me? Francisco Antonio and Jamilet. Thank you. Francisco, can you please start? You are A. Okay, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach and diarrhea. Continue. Yes, the second. Okay. Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible uh, headache and feel and I feel dizzy. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Any other two volunteers? I have another volunteer here. I have Hugo and any other volunteer? Hugo and Jose Alberto, thank you so much. Well, and then I have Damaris and Julio. Escuchemos, escuchemos, escuchemos a Hugo y José y luego a Damaris y Julio. Hi, you how please? are you? I'm um, awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. Hey, uh, hello, how are you feeling? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Thank you so much. So stomach ache, stomach ache and headache. Headache, stomach ache, headache. The rest, excellent. Thank you so much. Damaris, can you please start? Damaris and Julio. Hi, how are you? Julio, can you please? I am up for What's the matter? I am a stomach headache and diarrhea. Hello. How do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and feel dizzy. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. Thank you, Damaris and Julio. Excellent job. Okay, just to finish this class, we are going to listen to these four examples of these people talking about common illnesses. So pay attention to this listening, please. I think I'm gonna go. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's listen to the fourth conversation. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh, my 
gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, what's the matter with the first person in the first conversation? <clears throat> what's the matter with Ben? He has a headache. He has a, he he has a, a cold. cold. He has a headache. He has a cold. He has a sort of throat. Headache. Sort of he has a short throat. Sort of. Okay, yes, he has. Very good. He has. When we are talking about third person, el verbo have cambia, ¿verdad? En tercera persona, el verbo have se convierte a... Has. 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 Entonces, has. la oración sería Ben has. Ben has a cold. Excelente. Ben has a cold. Ben has a headache. Ben has a sore throat. He feels. <clears throat> oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Eh, esto significa, oh, es que mal, ¿verdad? Que te sientas mejor. Feel better. Thank you. In the second conversation, what's the problem with Allison? What's the matter with Allison? What's the matter with her? Se cayó como de escaleras, algo así. <clears throat> no. Um, she has an uh, emble. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my back and my elbow feel terrible. So her back and her elbow feel terrible. Su espalda y su codo le duelen. Lo siente terrible. Can you stand up? Puedes ponerte de pie. I think so, yeah. Thanks for your help. Sí, puedo, ¿verdad? Creo que sí. Gracias por tu ayuda. Third conversation. What's the matter with Jeffrey in the third conversation? It's a, he has a, has a bad toothache. He has a bad toothache. Tooth he has How a do you pronounce? Tooth ache. Tooth ache. Tooth ache. Tooth ache. Any question in this conversation? No. No question? En esa teacher. En la conversación, en, en, le dice, I have a really bad tooth ache. Un, un mal dolor, un, un mal eh, dolor de muelas. Y sería como un, un terrible, ¿verdad? I have a Ajá. really bad toothache. Es como un terrible oh, dolor. Realmente, sí, como, como bad realmente me duele. Ah, así es, realmente me duele. Ok. Thank you so much for your question. Let's continue. Okay, this is the last exercise for tonight. Match the problem with the advice. This person said, I have a terrible headache. ¿Qué puede hacer? I have a terrible headache. My cabeza, yes, I have a terrible headache. Take some aspirin. Okay, excellent. Take some aspirin is a good advice. Tome ese algo de aspirina. Take some aspirin. My back hurts. My back hurts. Me duele la espalda. Get 
a massage. Get a massage. Get a massage. Yes. My feet are hurting me. Me están doliendo los pies. My feet are hurting me. Take your shoes. Your shoes. Take off your shoes. My stomach hurts often. My stomach hurts often. Don't, Don't eat, eat so much. much. Me duele okay, excellent. Me duele el estómago. Don't eat no so much. Mucho. No comas mucho. No, no muchas pupusas. I have an earache. I have an earache. Tiene dolor de oídos. I have Don't an earache. Your finger your in your finger ear. In your ear. Excellent. And finally, I have a toothache. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Very good. Go to the dentist. Thank you so much. Now, just to finish, the last explanation. So, in the parts, it says, my bad hearts. Podemos utilizar este verbo, heart, para decir que nos duele una parte del cuerpo, ¿no? You can say, for example, my neck hearts. What is the meaning of this sentence? My neck hearts. Me duele el cuello. El cuello le duele. Ok. My leg hurts. La pierna. Ok. Me duele la pierna, ¿verdad? My elbow hurts. Me duele el codo. Me duele el codo. My back hurts. La espalda. Después de los 30, en my back hurts. <risa> o ya a los 20 les duele. My back hurts. My neck hurts, my leg hurts, my elbow hurts, my back hurts. Do you have any question about tonight's class? Questions, questions. No question. Do you have any question? Okay, so thank you so much for your attention and your participation during this class. I really appreciate your help doing this exercise. Thank you so much. Please don't forget about the platform exercises. It is really important that you complete your, uh, your homework there, your homework and evaluation. Please don't forget about that. No se les olvide resolver los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna pregunta, if you have any question, any problem, uh, any difficult exercise, algún ejercicio difícil que no le salga por más que intento. Se teacher, ya intenté 20 veces y no me sale. Entonces, escriba, please. Escriba en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para poder ayudarle a resolver esos ejercicios. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, finally, today yes. is okay, teacher. Finalmente es jueves, okay. ¿verdad? El día de mañana no nos vemos, pero aprovechen ese tiempo para trabajar en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Y have a nice weekend. Enjoy with your family. And see you on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye, bye. 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 See you on Monday. Monday, teacher. Have a good bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye.